When a Long Island man lost his beloved dog, Princess, he decided to clone her. There was something about her that I wanted a piece of her still with me. With thousands of dollars, you could do the same, but should you? Investigative reporter Masa Saidi looks into the regulations and other factors surrounding pet cloning. She was a stray. They were a little special. It's like they're appreciated, like they know, you know, that you tried to help them. A stray transformed into a princess. John Mandola says the Shih Tzu mix comforted his dad and aunt as they each battled cancer. Years later, Princess got sick too. She just didn't want to leave me. Just kept telling her, I, I love you, and uh, it's okay. But it wasn't okay. So the following year, Mandola's special delivery. For $40,000, he got Princess Jasmine <laughs> and Princess Ariel, clones of his beloved dog. Genetic copy of the original princess. Worth every penny? Worth every penny. Worth every penny. It does seem a little crazy. The Animal Care Center's Katie Hansen is against pet cloning. She showed us crate after crate. Dozens of dogs in the city waiting for a home. Hansen says people should adopt, and she's concerned cloning puts other animals in distress. You have to impregnate another dog. We do want the surrogate mothers, all the animals involved, to be happy and healthy and well taken care of. And they are. You know, I remember when Barbara Streisand came out about this a few years ago, and a lot of people were talking about it. So here we are again. Who regulates this industry, and how many people are actually cloning pets? So there's only one company in the U.S. right now cloning pets commercially. They're regulated by the USDA, and according to inspection reports that we reviewed, Viagen Pets are following all of the animal welfare rules. There's only been a 1,000 dogs and cats cloned since this company started providing the service. Most of their business comes from genetic preservation, a process that we're going to break down for you tonight at 11. All right, so one more question. Does a clone dog behave the same, or cat, pet, yeah. do they behave the same way as the original animal? Oh, does that make sense? Yeah, it, it does. That's the next question people ask. And so apparently the environment plays a big role when they're, when they're inside the surrogate, the eight weeks before you get them, that could really impact their personality. But John says that the clones kiss him the same, mm -hmm. that they walk the same, and that they have the same favorite toys. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I mean, I can understand why people would want to look into this. A pet is a part of the family. Yeah, it's like yeah. a child. For some Absolutely. People. All right, Masa, so we'll see you at 11 tonight. That's right. <laughs>